welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna go a bit Dungeons and Dragons with this. This massive boxed tome. It's called Dungeons and Dragons Art and Arcana. A visual history. It really is massive and heavy. It's a boxed uh, hardcover tome. It's described as a definitive collection of Dungeons and Dragons artwork we've been waiting for all our lives. So this is apparently going to instantly transport me back to my childhood um, and conjure up memories of long forgotten uh, role playing games and adventures around the gaming table. The tome is an essential addition to every lifelong D&D fans home library. Buy a copy right now it says or make me a saving throw versus death magic. It's beautiful. I don't know if you can see. Um, it's kind of black with the kind of gold detail, dragon's head. Um, it says, it's got the name of the authors here, Michael Whitwer and Kyle Newman, John Peterson and Sam Whitwer. It's actually like a clan shell, I'll show you in a second. It's got uh, a hardcover book in it and some other bits and bobs. Um, this particular copy hasn't seen, you know, it's a bit scruffy. It's got a few knocks here and there, you can see one there. Well, you know, it's, it's sufficient enough for me to be able to present this in a video to you and show you what's included. Um, I'm pretty sure that the interior stuff is in good, is good condition still. Here's a look at the spine. So it does take up quite a bit of room on your bookshelf. It's got some beautiful lettering. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get cracking. So first of all, you can see it is a pretty decent case, quite sturdy. You've got the main hardcover art book on the right here. Um, that in itself is a pretty big book, really like that. Tong coming out of that chest with the teeth and stuff. Beautiful. We'll have a look at that in a minute. I'm actually going to just have a little concentrate on what's on the left side first, okay? So. Just take they've got these little bands holding in position. First of all, we've got this, which is in kind of a, a sealed envelope, which is semi see through. Let's just open that seal. Let's have a little look. Cool. So, first of all, we've got this Dungeons and Dragons Tomb of Horrors. Original 1975 tournament module by Gary, is it Gygax? Illustrated by Tracy Lesh. This is an Art and Arcana special edition dungeon appendix materials by Alan Lucien. It's got a nice thing on the back, that weird score. Let's have a look. Ooh, look. It's mainly, so it's a text. Oh, it's got some illustrations in too. Wow, this does look old. And some of this is typed on an original typewriter from way back. I guess back yeah, in the 70s, that's what we had. None of these fancy word processors. Some of this artwork is pretty basic. It's nice that they've like, preserved this though, in this little book. So there's, there's that. And what's here? Some prints. So this first one showing like a battle scene. Cover painting for the Keep on the Borderlands, 1980 by Jim Roslov. Here's another one, like a knight on a horse charging into battle. Cover painting for World of Greyhawk, 1983 by Jeff Easley. Uh, this is a bit more like it. I wasn't too sure about the artwork, particularly that one. Not amazing. I think I could do better than that. But not this. Look at these undead. They're good. This is from 1986. Oh, Keith Parkinson, yeah. He's a good artist. It's a cover painting for Swords of Deceit. I like that. And then, is this another Keith Parkinson, possibly? Oh, they've strung up a dragon, baby dragon. Seems a bit cruel, really. Oh no, it's Larry Elmore, sorry. 
Interior painting from second edition Player's Handbook 1989. Oh, there's quite a few more. Wow, there's some. What's this? Ooh, a fold out poster. There's loads of little surprises in this. That's nice. That's really nice. I like the angle. A very unusual angle, so low down. And you've got this. Uh, these adventurers trying to, like. Well, they're in a pickle because they're kind of falling off this dodgy bridge whilst being attacked by a ferocious looking dragon. Really nice. I like the, this is nice art. I like the light source, the fact they've used that flame as the main major light source for it. This is by Todd Lockwood. Uh, the cover painting for the Forge of Fury 2000. Wow, that's folded in half. Looks like there's another folded one here. Ooh. What's going on here? This is cover painting for Player's Handbook 1978 by David Trampier. Okay, another fold out one. Whoa, that's amazing, isn't it? So much going on. Look at this, this karate kick here. And there's a dragon up in the corner. It's quite a peaceful looking dragon. So it's like some sort of like, I don't know, bar room brawl. Nice artwork. Some sort of, I don't know what she is, some sort of, a magician woman, there's people down this corner plotting something. Wow, good. It's a promotional painting for Dungeons and Dragons 30th anniversary in 2004 by Todd Lockwood again. And there's something else, hmm, interesting. This must be quite an early one, I would guess. Again, that's 1981 by Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Cover painting for Friend Folo. And there's still more stuff. That's, that's a four way fold out. I don't know if I can get one of this on. Let's see. Just sort of show you like that. Mm. So, this is an exterior painting for Dungeon Master's Screen 1979 by Dave Trampier. This might be the last one. Oh my gosh, is this a four or a six way fold out? Um, Excuse me, that is brilliant. Look at that. Are you getting the scale of that? It's like a looks like a well there's a giant that's been slain, beheaded even. Here. Yeah. Presumably by him with that sword, or him with that sword, or both of them, I don't know. And it's kind of this burning stuff gets really nice, isn't it? At the background. So yeah, what's this one called? I think it's done it. Fold it back up. Chris Rahn in 2016. It's interior painting from Storm King's Thunder. Brilliant. Okay, so I'm going to put all of this stuff back in this little um, what's this called? sleeve folder, whatever. Put all that back in there and stick it back in here. Oh, that's slightly broken. That's a shame, isn't it? I might be able to fix that later. We shall see. Okay, so I'm actually going to put the whole box to the side and just have a look at this book now, which is, of course, the main event. So this has got a nice dragon as well in sort of like gold kind of logo. Let's have a look. Quite a big book, this, so I'm not... Oh, that's a nice image. I'm um, not sure how fast or slow I can go through this. We shall see. A compiled volume of information and imagery for lovers of Dungeons and Dragons, including art, advertising, ephemera, and more. It's published by 10 Speed Press. So here's the contact the contents, fairly short. And let's just get having a look through, shall we? Who needs to hang around? I've got Dungeons and Dragons. Is this like one of the original adverts? Brilliant. I've got Dungeons and Dragons, plus I'm rocking the dungarees.
it's a bit of a shame that, that the, the binding's failing a little bit there. Um, I guess that's not going to last forever. Um, but anyway, my thoughts on this side. It's an amazing collection of artwork and sort of memorabilia. It must have taken a long time to put this together, a real labour of love. Some of the artwork itself is actually amazing, but it also contains art that's really quite laughable. There's a real range, I think, of styles and um, sort of quality of the art. Some of the old stuff in particular, it's just, some of it's really poor and it's drawn by people who um, are not very good. And uh, the perspectives and the, you know, the human body is not correct. Um, but it doesn't matter. It's, it's kind of like a little trip down memory lane, isn't it? The main, you know, some of it, I mean, there's a lot about the computer side of it all, the gaming side as well. But a lot of the, the artwork uh, is great, uh, particularly sort of the later artwork as well. Um, so, yeah, what a great book. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you next time. Bye.